Hi, this is Walt Lane with a few tips for those who bought a Craftsman YT3000 lawnmower, whether it's 42 inch, 46 inch, this is a 46 inch, and are complaining about the short sightedness of some of the engineering on the mower. One thing that I've been reading on blog posts is that the hood rattles like crazy, which is true. You go down a hill and you got any bumpiness, the hood practically falls off. So I went to Lowe's and bought two $3.50 hasps and mounted them on the hood. You can just unhook it, unhasp it, the hood opens up. Then you can lock it back up and now the hood is nice and sturdy and it's not going to flop around anymore. Another thing that was a sheer genius of the Sears engineering was their stupid cell phone holder designed for a cell phone from the early 2000 era. I don't know what they were thinking but I guess my grandpa still uses a phone this size because he doesn't want to use a iPhone or something else. But there's no phone of any new, newer generation that will fit this little pocket. So I pulled it off and I just bought one of those PDA phone cell phone kits took apart the back end and then threaded it on in the same location. So now you can pretty much put in any kind of phone, Android, iPhone, whatever, and it attaches right on there. It's on there really sturdy. It's not going anywhere. That didn't take me very long to mount. Finally, the biggest complaint I heard also on the blog post was the uneven cut that this mower and many mowers have a problem with. <clears throat> You'll notice that well, I mean, anybody probably knows you're supposed to mow your grass up pretty as high as you can. And the level 6 is a level, not that doesn't mean 6, inch, six inches. So at level 6, I found about the best you can get out of it is 3.5 inch, maybe 4 inch. So I cranked up the, the deck as high as it can go with this point here and the point on the front you see in the instructions. And then by doing that, the right side of the deck was... A lot lower because this there's only one crank on this side of the deck. So I talked to some uh, mower mechanics and basically the best suggestion was to put four chains and, and attach them on all, all four corners to help balance the deck out so it doesn't rock. Because you'll know that before I put these chains on I could just press down on this deck and it would just flop around. You take a turn and the deck would just go down low on one side and you would still have an uneven scalp like on typically the right side of the mower. So these four chains took care of that. Anyway, I just thought I'd share this with the rest of the world so those who are looking for a good tractor, which I think the Craftsman uh, 46 inch uh, cut tractor or 42 inch cut tractor with its great uh, turning radius is probably your best value in the market over uh, something from Lowe's or if you bought a John Deere, you're going to spend probably another seven, eight hundred dollars, almost the cost for a whole nother tractor. Uh, this is really your best bang for your buck, and uh, it's uh, otherwise uh, pretty reliable. Takes some uh, getting used to with its PTO engagement at the top uh, after being used to a, um, another brand that had the PTO gear on this side. So, um, anyway, congratulations if you buy a mower and. I suggest making these modifications.